Thanks for spending these few moments with me today as we encourage one another from God's Word. I'm Tom Olney. I serve as the Connections Pastor at Palm Coast Bible Church. Basically, that just means I help people be more connected to God by taking the next step forward in their walk with Jesus Christ. I also help our congregation be better connected to each other and to our community so that they can share God's love in tangible ways. One of the questions I get asked the most as a pastor is, what decision should I make? Sometimes it's a person asking about a spouse, a job, moving to another city. They want to know what God would have them do. Today and next time, I'm going to share eight things that will help each of us make better decisions and better understand God's will and direction as we make those decisions. The first thing is, does God already say something about it? What does the Bible say about my decision? You know, if someone came to me and asked, should I divorce my spouse and marry somebody else because I like them better, I'd have an answer for them. God says to be faithful to our spouse. If somebody came to me and asked, should I steal from my workplace? I can point out scriptures that say, don't steal. In Psalm 119, verse 105, it says, your word is a lamp to guide my feet. It is a light for my path. If God has already spoken clearly in his written word to what you're trying to decide, you don't have to go any further. Just go by what he has already said. But a lot of times there aren't those specific answers. A lot of times we'd love to hear God speak audibly to our situation or put in writing in the sky what we should do. He doesn't do that. So what? what's another thing we can do? Second thing we can do is ask ourselves, how is the Holy Spirit leading me? Jesus said, I will never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Isn't that wonderful to know that we do not go through this life alone? And yet we know Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. So how is he with us? He is with us by his Holy Spirit who dwells within us. And that Holy Spirit leads us and guides us in all truth. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 14, it says, For all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. So if you are God's child, then you have the Holy Spirit within you. Just take a moment, be still, listen to how he is leading you. He's got the best counsel, the best advice ever. Another question that we can ask ourselves is, who did God create me to be? You know, you don't see me leading singing on Sunday morning up on the platform. There's a really good reason for that. I can't carry a tune if I had a bucket. But I know that God doesn't call me to lead us in singing on Sunday mornings. Why? Because I look at myself. I know who God created me to be. In the same way, we can look at another verse, 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 10 and 11, that reminds us that God has given each of us a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts, and we are encouraged there to use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking, it says? Then speak as though God himself were speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Then do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything that you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power and honor to him forever and ever. Amen. So look at yourself. If God is calling you to something, chances are he will have given you gifts and abilities that will enable you to do what he's calling you to do. A fourth question we can ask ourselves is, do I have a piece about this? In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, we have this great reminder. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. And his peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. As we make a decision, as we get closer to 
pulling the trigger on that choice, that option, we go for A rather than B, we should have a peace within us. If we don't, it doesn't necessarily mean we've made the wrong choice, but it does mean we need to stop and pray just a little bit longer. So ask what does the Bible say? Ask what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do. Ask how God created me to uniquely serve him. And do I have God's peace about this? Next time, we'll talk about four other ways we can help understand God's will and direction for our lives. Would you please join me in a quick moment of prayer? Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you do not leave us to wander through this life all by ourselves, that you are with us. You've given us your written instructions. You've given us your Holy Spirit to speak to us. You've created us uniquely in your image, and you give us your peace. Lord, use these things to make us more confident in the decisions that we have to make as we go through this life. For your glory and for our good, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.